Hey folks, Landstrider here, and welcome to another episode of Terra Firma Punk. We're here on the server. Wait, wait for it. On the Aim to Game server. Yay! He's got it uh, fixed up. We're lag free now, and I'm here with Dornall. Hey, hey, hey. And we're ready to show you some Magnetic Craft today. So don't forget to check out our sponsors, and uh, let's get into the Magnetic Craft. So, uh, well, Dornall, are you going to. Well, you okay, got well, the all first, these thing, things. Yeah. first thing we want to go with is a uh, top chest. Top chest. Okay. Right hand. Some, right hand. We got to make That's going to be our magnets. magnets. Yes, we need those, both of those. Okay. Get those. That has to take, that takes the Minecraft iron and it won't work with the regular, I take it. Yeah, I think it'd take either one, but I think we had a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Iron, so I was just. Well, at least you can put the iron. Minecraft iron in a chest and you don't have to put it down here. I assume I need to pick these up. Uh, yes, those are going to be picked up soon, but not just yet. I'll put them in my inventory and we'll, we'll worry about them when we get there. So I got the two magnetic craft magnets. Okay, so the middle, you're going to put the two magnets up top and bottom in the middle of that next recipe. So you got some sheets that you got uh, from, uh, ooh, I think it goes like that. You got some sheets that you got by using the ingots in the press, I dig it. Yes, yes. And then I think, what is it, iron here? That wasn't it. That wasn't it. That's not it. Okay, what am I trying to make? <laughs> the, it, oh. The, did you pay attention to the uh, setup in there? Well, okay. yes, but I, uh, I... The magnets go up top and bottom of the middle of all that other stuff. Sure, I got that. But what am I trying to make? Because maybe the recipe changed since the update. And because it's not working, I don't even. Oh, but I don't boy. even know what I'm trying to make. <laughs> well, what we're trying to make is we're trying to make a basic generator and a firebox. Okay. Well, we'll look at magnetic craft. I mean, I need to know what this recipe is for because it's not working. Magnet. Okay, that doesn't work. Magnet. Magnety craft. I guess there's a few blocks associated with it too. It's got some stairs and some other things. So let's um, what are we trying to make a generator? Actually, yeah, basic generator, and it has been changed since I had set that up. <laughs> I told you that might happen. Okay, well, there's all that. Mister Toast will get it for you. All right, well, uh, so yeah, we're kind of yeah, we did an update, and well, this has been set up for since like. For a while. Uh, well, while you're figuring that out, I'm gonna go look through my quest book and start claiming no, some of no, these. No, here it is. Book. Okay, you got to put it in the carpenter, oh. and it'll make the alternator. Well, that makes uh, well, that makes sense. Why it wasn't doing anything in my inventory? <laughs> okay, well, let's go up to the carpenter. Um, Does it require water, oil, or creosote? Crystal in uh, rubber, and I had the rubber in the yes, chest. Uh, yeah, there's rubber up here. There, there's rubber up here, so it's not a big yep, deal. Yeah, one bucket, one bucket of crystal. So. That, that uh, we might need more. I need to might need to bucket some creosote in there. There's uh, a tank of creosote up there. I don't remember what order these were in though. Okay, three copper plates on the right hand side. Three? Yes. Because, okay. Uh, we don't have three copper plates. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Two copper plates, top and bottom. And then iron in the middle. Then an iron plate in the middle. Okay. And then all then I need two iron ingots. Where you at, Chester? I need my bucket. Ugh. I need some capsules. I don't know. Whatever. You I, know, it might not I have really changed. Don't I really like... I might have remembered this recipe wrong. Okay. I think it was supposed to be done in the carpenter the whole entire time. Oh, okay, well, yeah. Because I did put rubber in the, the box. I'd rather just grab creosote capsules instead of having to deal with that open block tank and bucket and stuff. Because <laughs> I can just put these right in there like that and I get my capsule back. <laughs> and I'm going to go kill me a cow. I'll be right back. Use them again. Kill you a cow. Does it do anything? Yes, it's doing something. 
Oh, I wonder if this is one of the recipes that didn't get changed for the duration of the, the crafting. Oh, please don't say that. Well, it doesn't look like it's doing much, does it? To you? Oh my god, that's going to be crazy. And you fill that up with Korea soap. <laughs> well, might as well. We, we, we got another one right beside it with water, so... Yeah, that is moving super slow. Yeah, I mean, might it be is one moving, isn't it? Right? <laughs> no, I haven't seen a tick yet. But it is. it should be making it. Yeah. Okay, well... That's going to slow things down. I mean, it's showing it in the in the crafting thing, so it's got to be working on it. But, uh, yeah. Check the battery, see if we're using power. No, it's, it's see there, it ticked up. It's just one that got missed. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully Wolf will be watching and uh, he will see that it, there's a missed recipe that needs to be sped up because that's that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, it's um, gonna take a while. So let's let that down. I'm gonna tell you some more. Um, well, I can also go through my quest book here. I had a ton of quests to turn in. Well, before we do that, let's finish this one last one that we can be able to turn in as well. Hey, did I did I mention how nice it is to be playing on a server that doesn't lag? <laughs> yes, you did mention that. I'm enjoying it. Yes. So uh, th once again, thank you to Aimed Game. So top left here is going to be a recipe. Okay. And it makes a pottery yeah. battery. Battery ceramic. Okay, yeah. Um, we were talking to uh, uh, Dragon about these the other day. He made them thinking that he'd be able to power something with them. But that's not really what they're for. They're for making, catalyzing a reaction in lead to make it in to get the silver out of it okay it's weird i knew it was for something and i knew yeah. it had i needed to get it done so i can open up any some more of the quest line so oh we finally fi I'm, I'm just throwing i'm just turning i'm not gonna turn that one in right now because i gotta pick food um and that one that's also food uh so i don't want that stuff in my inventory so we'll come back to that but what did we just complete uh well we've killed giants plenty of times uh, I might have to see what those reward books are one at a time because uh, that is a repeatable quest and you get those books and then we can copy them. I'm always flipping that. Oh, okay, it's in the harvesting. Har harvesting the storm. Oh, so there we go. Yeah, okay. So you made the the, twa the the ore cooker and that is actually in the basement over the, of the thing. Yes. I don't, I didn't even look how to use it, but I mean, we have it. <laughs> I don't know uh, if we even end up using it much because we're going to be auto processing pretty soon with magnetic craft. Well, it's you can throw like um, not hematite, lemonite in there, and you get two different ores out of it. I see. So or, it or, no, or it's, it's something like that. It, it, well, it's it, it's an ore doubling thing that's more um, in the lines of the terra firma craft style of stuff. So, but we can uh, um, graphite, uh, colon, uh, actually, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we got lots of both. I need to know which one you're taking so I can take the other. I took graphite. Uh, carbon take carbon rods, we've done that. We made carbon mm -hmm. rods? Yes, I made carbon rods, yes. I'll take the enchanted book. Uh, <laughs> um, well, let's, let's see, how did you make those carbon rods? Oh, Time is passing rather quickly. Did you sleep for uh, Doc? I think Doc was trying to sleep, sleep the night off. No, I did not sleep for Doc. I w we're recording. I didn't want to do that. Okay. I'm sorry. It's all right. Um, I don't have my sleeping bag out either, so, or I would have. And it's so it's usually in Chester. So carbon yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to look up the recipe for carbon rods, see how you did it, because I don't know how you did it. Um, it's a knife and charcoal. Oh, really? Is that easy? Yeah. It was so oh, simple. Yeah. I says he doesn't want to put yeah. this on camera. It's really simple. Okay. Yeah, that's really simple. Yeah, you're right. I probably wouldn't have, I wouldn't have cared about that. Um, and then, yeah, rod mold basically is just like any other mold. Uh, we can get cocoa beans? Sure. I took the cocoa beans, too. I figured you'd want that. Yeah, we can We can grow cocoa beans that way if we need to. Okay, Good so luck, I'm... Charm. Copper wire, oh, from making the... Uh, yeah. Copper? Yep. No, we'll just take the iron nugget. 
copper rod, which you apparently probably had to pour into the mold, I assume? Yes, I did. Uh, and then I'll take the uh, rich I'm rich. limonite. Cause I'm, I'm going to take the limonite because we need to crush it and burn it. Okay. Um, well, we'll want to run that through the magnetic craft processor whenever we get to that point. I don't know if we're going to get there today or not. Raining acid. Yes, we made sulfuric acid. We've done that plenty of times. Uh, cooked limonite. Smoglina. Or block of coal. I'm going to... I don't know why I chose a reward bag. I got so many of them, but I did. We'll do a uh, we'll, we'll do a stream with the reward bag opening because that's going to take like an hour. Yeah, there's a lot of bags. <laughs> uh, okay, so oh, I get both, um, and that's for making the ceramic battery. Yep. Does it say Let what it does? No, just an unnamed quest, basically. He he obviously intends to put some more uh, detailed information in there later when he figures out what it does. <laughs> I assume I don't know. That's I did make the evaporator pan. Yes. However, there was nothing to get out of it, so I just made it and completed the quest. Actually, I think it completed itself. Okay. The evaporator plan. Oh, it's just yeah. a, it's just a detection test uh, task. It's not really. It doesn't really have a reward either. So. No. Okay. Yeah. No big deal. What so did you do? The... What did the evaporator pan do? Did it work? to do something i couldn't figure it out i just I, it's supposed to do something but i just haven't been able to figure it out okay well i guess we'll have to come back to it when we do figure it out all right so is there any other quests in the book that we have finished at this point um oh yeah we made the blue set blue steel set of armor so we can uh i'm, just, I'm gonna keep that i'm just gonna hold that one for now yeah, I'm holding off until I break my red steel axe, and I'm going to take the blue steel axe. Oh, I was thinking of, uh, yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. That'll be a while, though, because <laughs> blue red steel axe takes a while. And then I usually reforge it if I'm, actually, you can't reforge the axes, so. And you can't reforge what this axe has on it. Unless he's updated that in the new update. Now, like I said, we are on 2.0.7 with our own modifications to the config, so, um, Yeah. <laughs> Some things got fixed and some things don't. But, you know, as I find little issues, I fix them and I send One Wolf a message about what I did to fix it so that he can include it in the next update if he chooses to or fix it however he deals with it. So uh, let's move on to the next recipe that's in this chest over here. Can we do that? No, we need the thing that's out of the... Sure, well, we got to wait for that one alternator let's go to see what the Let's go see what the process is on that. Because it we, we spent some time there messing with quests, so maybe... It's only half done. So, I mean, well, there you go in real time. So you can definitely see. Uh, and we do know what the issue with that was. It was uh, it was upscaled on a factor of, uh, what was it, a factor of 60 or something like that? Yeah, no, factor of 20. Way... Factor of 20. It's upscaled from what it he was... intended. From what he intended. Yeah. So, so he, here's this next recipe. It's the four copper ingots along the outer edge. Uh, the alternator in the middle. Right. Missing something. Maybe it just has a blank. Um, missing the machine housing that I had in there. Uh, machine housing? No, the machine housing is in the bottom chest. Sorry. Uh, machine. We got to make the machine housing? Is that what the uh, yes. brass pistons and iron and stuff are for? That's right here. Well, no, not that one. Not that not one. that one. But, but I can put that one together, right? What was that? <laughs> No, I don't think you can put that one together yet. Is it? Is it the iron? I think it's the wrought iron. Yes, that is. Yes, you can. That was the wrought iron. I don't. Is this another was, carpenter so. recipe? Yes, it is. Oh. Okay. Well, let me go just throw this stuff in the carpenter so that we can, when we get to that point. Well, well you can do this next step, and you don't have to have the carpenter for it. Oh, that's not the right. And I assume it's going to probably take the creosote. Um, yeah, I gotta remember what that was for. That was for the generator or the firebox? That was for the firebox. Okay. And whatever no. had the the green dye in it. So and oh it probably needs the beeswax as the uh Yes, the as the catalyst. I think it was seed oil, not I gotta remember what it was. Okay. Well, anyway, let, what was this? What's the next recipe? Okay, for the next recipe is this right here, the and yep, that one there. That will make you the machine housing. Gabriel, 
carbonite and if we remember how to make carbide that's oh yeah that's just a the high carbon steel surrounded by charcoal and the rolling machine that's not too bad and then that you also use that carbide to make those carbide to make the like the hammers for x nylo the diamond style hammers they're called carbide hammers in this pack but cool yeah definitely nice to have there's one on the there's one hanging in the, in the vault of those by the way yeah i've used it uh I, I I mean I need to make a, a fresh one and put some nice enchants on it once I get enough uh, once I get an XP farm so that gives me the machine housing that is required Thank for for that recipe that's working upstairs this up there okay yep so now this one here um, is the firebox the firebox so we got this heating heating cable how's that uh, recipe on that oh that's just bricks around a salt block. Did you do this recipe? This recipe? Salt? Okay, salt block? Okay. I think so. Bricks. Minecraft oh, yeah, bricks are actually not yep. hard to make. Okay, so this is relatively easy stuff to make. This uh, is you shape, can place so... this on the floor, too, can't you? Yes. This is actually like a cable. Cool. I bet you, I bet you didn't realize that. Well, there's some more. <laughs> um, so you'll, you'll use that to, like, it's a thermal uh, conductor, basically. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and you do that firebox. recipe, you get the firebox. Press shift from one generates heat from solid fuel. Produces 30 kill. I, I actually kind of like the, the way this is. I, I think I like the way this is going so far. Magnetic craft, that is. So, first of all, we're doing, we're doing thermodynamics, basically. I like it. We're going to conduct heat around to probably some kind of generators that we're trying to build. I hope that it doesn't require seed oil because then I'm gonna have to. Yes, the next one that we are working on is make another carpenter. Generator. <laughs> we we can make carpenters real easy. We got those, uh, right? Am I am I wrong? Well, I don't know if they're easy. Well, we don't we don't have to use up all of the crazy stuff. We can, uh, yeah, we can make it. Well, we still need a sturdy gearbox and a tank. The tank. Oh yeah, alternator is almost done. Alter is almost done. Oh, uh, yeah. Sturdy gearbox is pain. That's the pain. Okay. Well, if we had one of those extra, I would say making us another carpenter. But, um, I'm going to go uh, but I have to take out the, the creosote oil out of this. Okay. Clean up your inventory. Yes, sir. Um, is there any other recipes down here that we can continue on with? Unfortunately, the rail gun's the last one, and we need the arc furnace for that, and i got to do some grinding for the arc furnace. Okay. So, unfortunately, yeah, the rest of the recipe is for the basic generator. That was the setup for this episode because that opens up everything for me to get more episodes ready. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, well, um, let me clean up my inventory, and then uh, we will be back in a minute when the uh, carpenter's done with this thing. I'm, I'm semi-tempted to go edit that script like right now. <laughs> Okay, the magnet is, or the alternator is done. So, all right, now uh, all we need to do with this alternator is combine it with the small battery, right? These things in here? Yep, this in the carpenter. In oh, in the carpenter? What? Yep, it comes up to the carpenter as well. With firebox and everything? I everything? hope the fire, firebox isn't needed. Oh, the firebox. Oh, well, I, got, I just grabbed it, so. Um, oh, what is the recipe? Glass middle right. No, what what are we building? Uh, the basic generator. The basic generator. <laughs> Why is it so hard to find these things in NEI today? The no, not the steam generator. Not not that. Not the kinetic generator. Not the Starling gen basic generator. There we go. And. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can do this with creosote, thank goodness. Yeah, that one. Yeah. The oh, Sterling generator. Why aren't we making the Sterling generator? Because wouldn't that because be the one thing that uses the, the firebox? The quest doesn't call for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> because of the quest. Does. Well, there's some logic. Let's let's do the quest instead of following the. The, the progression of the mod. Um, 
hopefully it, it, it lines up, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, capacitor, glass, copper, uh, machine housing, that thing, all that goes in back into here. So God, that's terrible because I can't. Oh, thank goodness I can look at it right here. No, not that. That housing, glass, copper on the outside. Glass that goes in the middle. That goes on the top. Hopefully it counts. Uh, hopefully it doesn't have to be any kind of full battery or anything like that. Oh, and then the uh, piece of that goes there. Don't tell me this is going to be another one. That uh, it is. So back in an hour. No. <laughs> oh, I remember what that other one was. The one that you had, yeah, it does take seed oil. I'm sorry, it's the industrial squeezer. Oh, the industrial squeezer from from the other. Same quest line. Same quest line. Well, that's the immersive engineering, though. Harnessing the storm. Uh, I see. Well, why would that be under har? Why would that be under harvesting? The storm? It's right next to the that, yeah. light engineering block. So look at these. Uh, Harnessing the storm things here. Oh, up here. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, it's kind of a. There's two different lines in the same tab, basically. There's the yeah. immersive engineering stuff up here, the magnetic craft stuff down here. Um. So, yeah, that that's going to be. Later. I don't know. I don't know. Industrial squeezer. I'm not even sure. I mean, we need to do it for the quest, but other than that, I don't have any use for it. At this point, no. Yeah, at this point, yeah. I mean, we're 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 gonna kind of like bypass a lot of things because um, there's just so much redundancy in the pack. You know, like I could use the 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 squeezer to make seed oil and you know turn it into biodiesel to power a generator. To get our RF, but there's easier, pass, more passive methods of getting RF. I mean, right now we're getting our RF from a water wheel, and it's it's more than enough for what we're doing. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna want to do more, but I mean, it does help that we have this, uh, you know, battery that I've upgraded to the elect to the gold plated electrodes in here. You know, so I did that during a stream. I'm pretty sure. Well, when you asked me to start getting you set up to get into magnetic craft, I I've never messed with the. Oh yeah, we're good. Before. We're doing we're doing all right. I mean, now we just got to wait for this next part to 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 do, and then we can uh, because magnetic craft does have a different power system. I mean, if we look at it, you can see that it says generates electricity from solid fuels or heat. It needs water to work and produces 400 watts, which is nice because that's actual an actual measurement of real power watts. You know, it's not we're not using a made up um, power system like RF is. RF is made up. <laughs> it uh, it kind of follows some rules, but it doesn't follow the rules of real power. To be to be honest and honest, watch. I like mods that actually attempt to use, you know, power and watts, and uh, you know, use actual terms and actual measurements. Uh, the other one is um, uh, joules. Joules are actual real is a real measurement. Now some of the mods that use that are kind of only loosely based on actual joules, but they just call them that. And, oh, M and MJs are used, used to be Minecraft joules, which is the old measurement that started way back with Buildcraft. Now, I think that's enough of our history lesson on Minecraft power systems. Oh yes, I uh, wanted to get back with you. You need to figure out a way to plug these lasers back in without they crashing the server. Uh, well, I was thinking actually of um, just putting our capacitor box there, and then yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's over here powering the squeezer at the bee farm, which um, let's actually sleep because it's uh, come here, Chester, come here, Chester, Mister Totes, Sir Totes. If you can get me some string and lots of it, I will get your windmill done. Oh yeah, well, um. Actually, yeah, that's something else I want to mention real quick because uh, I showed, uh, I actually showed the uh, uh, how to move spawners with the whole um, 
Pistronics, you know, we showed that. So I'm yeah. probably going to, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to show it on camera. Uh, I'm going to like make really long Pistronic uh, pulling pistons and pull up some uh, spider spawners out of that d uh, dungeon right over there. Spider spawners, and I think I need to go see if I can find some red cap spawners. I might have broken them all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if I can find some red cap spawners and some spider spawners, I'm going to pull them out of that dungeon. If not, there's another one right over there. No one fairly close by. So, uh, yeah, to to make a, a spawning system underneath the factory to give us infinite coal and infinite string. And, and I'd like to find a troll spawner too. That's the other one I want to find because I I've, I've been watching Beaver Guy occasionally, and he, he trolls troll spawner would be nice because it just basically at that point you don't have to mine anymore. Because the troll just drops pretty much all of different kinds of uh, minerals. Uh, are we, we're just waiting on that to craft. And then we'll have our generator. But I don't think we need to show that finished up on, on camera today. Because I think we've had enough. We've done enough. We've created a bunch of quests. We've made a few things. We will have our basic generator to set up in the next episode. Uh, and we will do that. We will actually start setting up the magnetic craft. And then I assume that we're going to need to start actually making some of the multi-blocks for magnetic yes. craft. And those are going to require probably a bunch of stuff. Magnetic craft. Because we're going to need a crusher, controller, a multi-block chassis probably. I don't know. Um all kinds of things. We can, we're probably going to want to make the inserters and conveyor belts so that we can set it all up using the magnetic craft um, infrastructure. Oh, look, they got electric wooden poles and stuff like that and, and transformer poles. Okay, well, yeah, uh, this is uh, magnetic craft going to span several episodes. So um, we're going to wrap this one up right nope, here. Nope, not making any promises, but we may have the material for our arc furnace next episode. Yeah, that'd be nice. Because if we get our art furnace, then we can actually automate our, our metal processing down here. And that's why I haven't automated this, because this crude blast furnace, which is no longer craftable in the pack, anyway, is not automatable under any circumstances. It won't. That it, That's the way it's coded. It's meant not to be automatable, in fact. I might as well put this hopper that I made away, or use it for something else, anyway. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video as much as we've enjoyed making it for you. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, thumbs up, and check out our sponsors, Aim to Game. And until next time, I will catch you later. See y'all on the flip.